Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's nine o'clock at night and this video is part one of my room transformation. Tomorrow I'm starting painting the walls. Everything is changing and I cannot wait to do it and start it and then have a final fresh clean product. Basically I ordered a whole new bedroom, bedside tables, dresser, wardrobe, room accessories, furniture, whole new furniture. Apart from there's one thing, my bed isn't going because my bed is perfectly fine and it's very comfortable. But things are changing on the bed. Giving my room a makeover, making my room feel like my room again. So I'm going to give you a quick room tour, show you what it is, so then you can compare it to the final product. So let's get on with it because I cannot wait to start this project. So from the minute you walk in, this is what you see. So you walk in here and here is my wardrobe. Actually, for some reason, I'm missing a pair of shoes there. I'm not sure where they've gone. So you walk in and this is not my side of the bed. Also, this pillow I have had for a long time. Okay, I know that pillow is very ugly, so do not worry. Here is a bedside table with a coaster and my Yankee candle. Here we have my lava lamp, which I don't really use, my size speaker, a microphone, and you come back out of here. So I made this one and this one, I mean, like Beyonce artwork, obviously you can tell I made it because it's got tape on it. This one says, they say true love's the greatest weapon. And this one says, middle fingers up, put them hands high. And basically they're both just quotes from um, Beyonce's album, Lemonade, which is my favorite album, if you didn't know. Then up here, I just have a, it's actually a Manchester bee, but it went well with this. And I had another one here. And if we go here, we have the bed. Then above my bed, I have my mood light. It changes color, see like, so it goes to any color or it can just do whatever. Then above my bed, I've got these shelves with two Yankee candles on it and the Beyonce album. Then I have an O with lights on. It's really cool. I like this actually. Looks like that. Then my friend got me this and it's reasons why I love being your friend. And it's literally just full of reasons why. And it's just bloody lovely. It's so, so nice of her. And I've got a candle, which someone got me for my beefer. And then I've got this collage of designer clothes tags that I made once. And then I've got a picture of me and my boyfriend when we were in Tenerife, I think. From that, we have my side of the bed. I always sleep closest to the window. Like no matter where I am, I will always want to sleep closest to the window side. And I'm not sure what it is. So yeah, I have my water bottle, a coaster, a Yankee candle and a little photograph there. And then I have a plant. And then I have this thing, which got some candles and a photo of my dog. Then I have got a candle here, some books, which I like, Vogue, a cooking book, a notebook, Ancient wisdom for modern living, five minutes for you, everyday magic, good vibes, good life. Little acts of self-care and little acts of bravery. And I've got like another little white handle there. And this bit is where I sit and edit most of the time, or I'll be in bed. Linen candle, ring light, laptop, AirPods, and my iPad. Then it comes to my window, but I've just shut the blinds because I don't want to show you outside in my garden. And on here, I just have two cactuses, a crystal, a candle, a little plot, and an incense burner. Then I've got my TV, my Skybox, my Apple TV, a candle, dresser, and a bin. We're back to the door. So yeah, that is my room. Oh, one thing, this wallpaper. I've had this wallpaper for the longest time. So like, you know when you Snapchat someone and all their Snapchats are in one place? If we were to Snapchat, you would see this. So that's what you'd see. Or well, this is my background. So it's like, if it's my eye, it's like that, or anything, you will see that as a background. This wall's gray gray forest background kind of vibe and gray but it's not me this room i don't like this color at all and that's why we're changing it there's a lot that i don't like really and i hope you enjoyed the video that you're about to watch so as you can see the first steps have been done we have filled in like the holes and stuff that were here so like where the nails were they've been filled in the pictures have come down step one is done So this is the paint job after day one. 
This is what colour it was. And that's what it is now. So all the walls are now painted white. Obviously that one being the biggest change because it was all foresty. And look, the black shelves are back up. And this is going tomorrow. Like it's so weird seeing this as my background. Because obviously normally, like I said, it was that. It was like the wallpaper and now it's a white wall. I just can't wait for it to be done now. The wardrobe came today actually. So it's only like building the furniture left really and then switching it round. I love the paint so much, I love it all being white and just fresh and it's clean. I thought I'd update you, but I've just got, we have one of these clothing rail things. So obviously we're taking down my wardrobe to put my new one in, so I need to get all my clothes out and hang them up on here. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so first off, my wardrobe is now completely empty. Everything's over there. But now I've got all my like products and stuff to go through. I've now just got a mess though that I need to organise. What I've learned about doing like a bedroom for any space up is that you need to make organised mess to get anywhere, which is very annoying. And just like that, it's all empty. I mean, this wardrobe is destroyed. Like, it's just so broken. Good timing. Now this side's also empty. It's probably the last time I'm going to shut this wardrobe. Oh. Bye bye. Next time. Wardrobe is in the process of being taken down. And it's time to give me a full refund. And it's smashed in delivery. I felt like it was just missing something. It really annoys me how ugly it looks. Part of me now is just like, I wish I never started. Finally, after months of having a half completed room because of one company, time for the big reveal.